Hello everyone, and welcome back to All of Fabric 6. We are of course back. It looks like there's been some progression uh, over at our neighbor's place. Um, I will say right off the bat, I am trying out a different shader, but I've got the settings cranked up. So I apologize if, the, if it feels a little bit weird today. Um, last episode, we made what I would say is good progress for us. You know, we have a house. Uh, you know what? I'll toggle the shaders off even. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look as impressive um, at the moment, but you know, it's a house. We can live in it. Um, spiders and baby zombies can get through the windows. Oh, not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, spiders and baby zombies. And we can get shot at. But we have a roof. And, and that, that's the main thing, right? Um, we got some, some resources. So I think we've got a bit of copper on us. We've got more copper in the smelter. A little bit of tin. Um, some nickel. I mean, it's looking pretty good. But I feel like we've got some work to do. Let me go ahead and um, switch over our shaders as well. Just to... There we go. That feels a little bit nicer. Um, we'll head back down here. And, I mean, I guess I'll do some mining. Oh, actually, before I do that, I was told some pretty good information. So, we have a few tools we can bring with us. Obviously, last episode, we were down there and we realized we wanted um, stairs. So, I made a crafting table and slapped one down. Uh, if I go and grab that, we can do something cool. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I haven't fact-checked any, uh, any of these tips, but down here, there should be a crafting table. Uh, do we have... We don't have... The resources I want. I want to make it an axe real quick. <laughs> oh, oh god. Okay, pressing all the wrong buttons. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, that's a horrible spot to put it, but it's it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, all right, we'll make an axe. I'll pick this guy up. Please fall towards me. Okay, perfect. And we can turn it into a crafting table on a stick, or in this case, a portable crafting table. Now this guy is, you guessed it, a portable crafting table. So I mean, that's pretty cool. It will take up an inventory slot, but I guess so would your crafting table. Oh, you can use it directly from your inventory. You don't have to have it on your hotbar. That's pretty cool. And beyond that, there is something else I want to do. Um, if we go ahead and go into small tunnel mode, so I can just grab some uh, some cobble and stuff. That didn't really help. <laughs> there was like two blocks in front of us. Um, if I grab this out and we open our crafting table, I believe you can also do uh, a furnace on a stick. And that is insane. So I can have that in my inventory too. That's pretty cool. That That is genuinely really cool. So now when we find like iron or literally anything, maybe this gal galena or we can, we can just smelt in our inventory. Um, now we obviously got rubies and stuff. These are pretty good. Uh, the mining speed on them is awesome as well as of course, um, I mean, they can mine like, like iron, I guess, or, or like diamond sort of. Um, so yeah, sweet. I mean, that's, that's where we're at. Well, what I'm probably going to do because I don't have that many resources uh, on me at least. It, oh, you know what? We can make some. I was like, oh, we don't have enough to make um, torches. We can indeed make some. So I can go into my furnace and chuck that in. And that'll just be happening in my pockets. <laughs> yes. Um, cool. So yeah, I want to do some more mining. We obviously, we need a lot of resources to get started here. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I will meet you guys. I was going to say bedrock, but we're in 1.19, which means we go into the negatives. You know what I mean? So, I don't know where I'm going to meet you, but, but I'll meet you there. Okay, how does that sound? Oh, we also just mined up a block of raw copper. Which, are, yeah, block of raw copper. Cool. I mean, yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's neat. I don't, I'm not sure the difference. I mean, I get that it's probably more in a little stack, but it's very odd nonetheless. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll meet you down there. All right, so we've gotten... Oh, I was going to say we've gotten into Deep Slate and there's oddly enough tiles, but I, I guess we've dug directly onto a... Uh, well, some sort of structure. Oh, and our hunger is low, so hopefully there's something to eat down here. Although, I'll be honest, it's kind of looking like I'm the something to eat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What version of Minecraft? We're in 1.19. 1.19 is um the Warden, right? I, I still, I haven't seen that before, so you, you guys might be in a tree. I know that it has to do with sound, and we'll know we're there. Oh, we'll know we're there when there's um skulk sensors, I believe, or, or or just skulks, I think they're called, and then you can turn them into sensors. I think. I I, I, was, I could be wrong. Um, let's build. Oh, making a bit of a scary mess. Okay, cool. Um, the loot chest from the last episode that I tried to show off and completely didn't work, um, is the, the issue that happened there was apparently, um, that structure has been removed from the game. So the loot 
is technically not in the game anymore. It's just the server's obviously been up for a little while. Um, oddly, not a lot of enemies. You know what I mean? I, I really thought I'd be in a bit of trouble here. It is possible this has been looted. I don't really know how it connects up. Although I guess, once again, the loot doesn't really matter. Is it dark for you guys? Is it less dark if I toggle off? No, the shaders honestly make it a little bit easier to see. What do we... I Listen, one thing you'll catch on to pretty soon is I love my shaders. That is not the one for this situation. <laughs> that is very dark. What about just normal? Do we... Complimentary reimagined? Come on. Luck of the draw? Uh, yeah. Not too different. Um, okay, so what do we get? A bucket? That, I mean, hey, <laughs> that's that's the last thing we got in the um, Gravitas series, so we're, we've caught up. We're good. Uh, emeralds, of course, they're pretty good. We'll probably put a lot of this stuff away that I imagine we don't need. A rare iron axe, an iron chest piece, and epic legs. And, of course, a spyglass, which we probably don't need, but can we use it for anything? Drum roll. Oh, nope. It just lags my game when I press it. That's cool. Cool feature. <laughs> um, sweet. So, um... The legs give us extra armor, um, and the chest piece gives us extra armor, but it has less durability. Uh, I'll take it. And then the shovel, it's got better dig speed, but it has less speed. And then, I don't know, everything else seems relatively shovely. And we get a blast furnace and a smith. The, <laughs> the progression is insane. Um, like this, oh, it was an iron axe. I didn't realize um, it was an iron axe. I thought, it was, for whatever reason, I thought when I was saying it, is that, a, is that an anvil? Why don't I have... Yeah, it's a... Oh, it's a damage damn build. I'll, I'll take it. That's a lot of iron that I no longer need. Mandrake seeds from Bewitchment. I was going to say, isn't that like a little Harry Potter thing? Cool. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh. Before we continue, I... Oh, my God. I feel like we've hit a jackpot here. We've definitely hit some sort of jackpot. Um, let's set a waypoint um, out. Just so, just so that I can, you know... Hopefully find my way out. I do, I, I will say that I believe the waypoints in this are very bright for whatever reason. I think it's the shaders that do it, but um, I guess it's worth taking note. Is there any food in here um, before I die sort of thing? There's looms down here. Honestly, this is, we've, this is our base. So, I mean, we've got a lectin. What's in the lectin? Day 108, great creator of the world. I awoke from a deep dream. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to take it. I wanted to... Uh, Go to the next page, but the, the button scared me. Um, okay. Oh, barrels? Yeah, the barrels... I don't think the barrels should have everything. The barrels should turn into loot. In fact, yeah, they should be loot barrels. Should they not? Unless they are normally empty. In which case, I guess, the remainers... But I, listen. <laughs> I'm talking like I know what's happening. <laughs> I do a little bit. But obviously not a lot of bit. So these are coffins. Oh! Okay. Okay, I think we're good. We've got armor. I don't know how much health this thing has. It's taken my hits. It's doing magic. No, it's dead. Okay. Oh, easy. Okay. Let's open the sarcophagus. A golden apple. Okay, before I eat this, is it useful for anything? <laughs> Silk touch, a magic plum, pocket computer. Ah, uh, I mean... I mean, that sounds cool. I probably wouldn't know what to do with it, but it'd be cool to have. <laughs> a druid band. Okay, I wonder what music they play. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to eat it. As silly as that sounds. I mean, I need some hunger. I want to keep looting. Oh, there we go. Delicious. Tasty food. Uh, what do we have in here? Bone meal, cobwebs. Lots of bones, to be honest. That, that's pretty decent. Um, more goodies. Yeah, that spawns another one. I... I Thought that might happen. Oh, 27 hearts or, or 27 health uh, this guy had. Easily taken care of with our ruby sword. Gunpowder, cobweb star, corrupt. What are the, what's the corruption for? Dark iron ingots if combined with an iron ingot. That's doable. And then we can start making our own coffins and, and, and gothic uh, stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That's an option. Uh, oh, and the iron doors can be opened. Um, all right, we'll check these chests. I... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll clean up here. They are pretty strong. I, w I will definitely, I will let that be known. They aren't exactly weak. Um, coal? Oh, yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, well, I mean, we're clearly gonna die going through this. I'm, <laughs> this is quite the labyrinth, uh, to say the least. And I, I don't have the health nor the inventory for this. Alright, um, oh god. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's sort things out. There we go. Things are sorted out. <laughs> it's a, it's a efficient method. Um, you guys can follow along at home. Uh, stone axe we don't need. All that stuff's good. Uh, I do want to keep going back down there and, and obviously seeing what else awaits, but we, we do have bigger fish to fry, right? Our health is very low. We don't have much going on. Uh, we need to get going on. <laughs> oh God, I... I will say, we are... We're gonna die. <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen at some point. Um... I'm gonna make a stone hoe and we'll get started. Listen, listen. Oh, I didn't realize there was a creeper. Listen, I saw that there was something. I didn't. Can we, I think we might be able to, oh. Spruce creeper. Don't even think about it. I spent time on this house. Really? Okay. I think because my house was claimed we're good, and that is good because it looks like it just attacked the uh, skeleton. And I was about to take the uh, the blame. Perfect dodge, perfect dodge. Nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> we're just going to jump around uh, because I, I like my shaders. Um. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. All right, so I want to make a farm, and I want to start farming things. Uh, to do that, obviously, we'll we'll start by chopping down some of the trees around this area so that we can turn them into... Was that the axe? Okay. Okay, we've got a nice little bit of farmland. <laughs> we'll put some crops on it, and then we'll figure out how to how to do that, but better, right? Um, so we've got mandrake. I don't think you can even eat them. We've got some grapes. I'm sure you can eat them. And we've got some blueberries. Nice. <laughs> it's looking good. I feel like the blueberries... Yeah, th okay. They, they do have to be clean this. So we've got blueberry... Got some grapes, and we'll put the mandrakes over there. Um, we'll obviously want some more seeds, so we may go doing that uh, later. But in order to make more food forever, infinitely, we'd want to make a farmer, right? We want something or someone that does this for us. Now, there could be a few different blocks that can do this. So at the moment, we've obviously got the farmer here. Um, there may be blocks called harvesters. So for example, Create has the mechanical harvester. I know that uh, can work at, at farming crops. Um, there may be some more machines. I'm just trying to look through, see if any ring a bell. Obviously, there's a few that I wouldn't even know about. What about gatherer? You, you sort of have to throw in a few keywords, you know what I mean? Like, you can't just search farm and then it shows you every farming block. Because obviously, there's no uh, harvester there. Um, which is annoying. I, I, I do feel like mods need to have, like, a unified tag that they put on modded blocks. So, like, this is a farming block. This is a quarry block. That sort of thing. Because um, otherwise, I'll never find your block. Uh, but anyway, these are our two options. Now, one of them requires power. It's going to require bits of gold. It will need batteries, machine blocks. Some of these may look harder than they are, and some of them, just by the looks of things, may genuinely be as hard as they look uh, in order to get. Um, we probably will get to them eventually. But we're not there yet. Um, the harvester, listen, I know creates not everyone's cup of tea, but I mean, just looking at this thing, I already feel like it's going to be insanely easier um the only trick would be the fact that i don't think we have zinc is zinc zinc isn't an alloy right it's just you find zinc yeah um if we had zinc that would be easy if we had iron that would be easy um because you can make yeah hmm we may do that i i uh, i need i need food <laughs> okay um i sorted the the food problem <laughs> I, I had a secret method that i that i will clearly not uh not share um I, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to go mining. I need food. I need to go mining. I'm, I'm panicking. I, there's so many things to do. There's so many things you can do. And we just need to go mining. We just, just need to go mining. You know what? I couldn't help myself. I saw this chest. Ooh, and it was the jackpot. Yes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what do we... Oh. Um... Why is it not... Yeah, I was going to say, why is it not chasing me? But there, there it goes. Okay. What'd that do? Blindness. Awesome. Cool. Um, oh. Okay, anyway, we've got emerald, copper. We did get 10 iron. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had blocks of iron, don't we? 
Didn't we? Yeah, I think we've, we've actually got a decent amount of iron. And then we just have this gold chakram, which I'm guessing we can put it somewhere. <laughs> you would you would think, but is it a hat? Is it is it a oh? I was gonna say, is it a weapon? Um, okay, we've got some friends down there. It seems. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. There's clearly a skeleton spawner up here or something. A skeleton creeper spawner. Let's just, let's just continue. What I was planning to do was put a torch in my offhand, which we don't have. Can I pick up the candle? Is that going to work as a, as a light source? Nope. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll get our stuff back. Um, I'm just going to continue mining. <laughs> now, what we're mainly looking for here is um, gold and redstone. I, I think they are still a pretty big part of just about every single mod in the game. So... Um, or at least, you know, I assume so. Um, a lot of these ores are very annoying to mine. Um, so, so yeah, we want a bunch of that stuff and then maybe I can try to start making some machines. Um, cause even for, I mean, we could get started with create. We could at least get something. Um, my only thought against going against using create is that we've done so much of it, um, in the past few series that it's sort of been there, done that mentality a little bit. Um, and I would like to just get back to using machines. <laughs> I miss machines. Um, all right, redstone, that's easy. It looked like there was some, uh, emerald down there. Oh, no, oh, that's going to be uraninite. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so uraninite is the uranium of the pack, or at least the uranium of the power mod. Um, and it is very, very nice. Um, from memory, these reactors that you can make with them, they're... They sound crazy, I mean, making a reactor, but they're actually pretty good. They're um, very efficient, they, they're simple to make. It's not like a insane task to, to get it set up. Um, or at least it used to not be. <laughs> we'll obviously, uh, we'll, we'll get back to you on that one. I do realize as well, I should be looking at the spawn levels for these things. Like, um, here we go. So gold spawns, um, it actually spawns the most at Y negative, like, 18. So I... I I don't even need to really be down here. Um, I guess redstone we could compare as well. Spawn rates for that is all at negative uh, 60, it looks like, or, you know, 59. Um, and so I'm guessing they overlap a bit. So if we really want uh, a decent chunk of this, we probably want to be mining around Y59 to get a decent amount. Um, there is also the above ground stuff, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I was trying to vein mine this. That is bedrock. Okay, yeah, cool. So we're done. We're done here. <laughs> Our jobs, we're finished. Oh yeah, it does appear to be a sword. Although, why does it have 12 digging speed? Hmm, but it has like zero harvest levels. Is it good against... Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so it definitely looks like it's a bit of an, a ranged attack. So that's pretty cool. Um, sweet. Is that going to be better? It doesn't look like it. In fact, it looks quite bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I guess it's got the range. So if we ever need some range, we'll, uh, we'll play that guy. Golden Glaive. This looks maybe better. It's two-handed. Okay. I don't even know when I got this. And it's a big swingy, swingy swing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, th there are options, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, what are we doing? <laughs> Let me, you know what? Let me consult. I've, I've been told some things. You know what, I'm... <laughs> Listen, I, I need food that badly that I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go fishing. It's currently thunderstorming, so it's perfect fishing uh, situation. And there's rain, there's fish. We're good, we're good. So I'm gonna do this and get some fish. And then we're gonna go mining for Nicolite. I believe that is what we want, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, I got a thundering... Bass. This guy is worth two and a half hunger. And that's it. Do I just eat him raw? I mean, I, I get that there's like some things I can do here. Fish and chips and whatnot. But realistically, I'm not going to be doing, making it into it. Yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll eat it and I'll go, I'll go mining. That was, hey, pretty good deal. We get speed from it. I will meet you in the mines. <laughs> okay, so uh, what we want is this stuff here. Nicolite dust. Um, to get this, you can either use Nicolite Ore or Deep Slate Nicolite. Uh, Nicolite Ore, as you can see, very low percentage chance and a small little window of which that spawns in. Um, oh, you can actually go across. I didn't realize that. Um, the Deep Slate Nicolite Ore, 
this stuff has a much higher spawn rate at much lower levels. So we're going to around negative 33, it looks like. Maybe maybe 34 if we're feeling lucky. Um, and yeah, it needs to be negative. Uh, keep, keep in mind that, obviously, with uh, different versions of Minecraft. All right, so once you're at the level you want to be at, you simply uh, scroll to where it says small tunnel in the top left and you find the stuff incredibly easily. Or so I say. <laughs> We've already found some uh, zinc, so if we don't want to use our, our other stuff, and there it is, Nikolite. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's pretty easy to get. Um, I'm telling you, the resource gathering in this pack is going to feel like a breeze compared to everything else we've done. Um, lapis over here, that's good. Um, oh, oh, what's this? I don't like that the advancements take away my thing at the top. I I couldn't care I couldn't care less. I just want to see what I'm looking at. <laughs> um, antimony, we'll take it. I don't really know what it is, but we've got it now, and we'll bring it with us. <laughs> and then yeah, I'll grab the um the zinc over here and and whatnot. Okay, so uh, we've got nikolite. Uh, we're gonna we're essentially we're gonna try to make this farm right. There. I think it is a, a worthy investment, hopefully. Um, and to do that, we're gonna need some stuff. Um, one thing we are going to need is a generator of some sort. I assume we can just get a normal generator. We could probably use this guy from uh, Ad Astro because most mods are interchangeable, but we may want to just grab one from uh, from Industrial Revolution, which is uh, this mod we're going to be working with. Um, so this cold generator, we're going to need machine blocks, looks like a bunch of copper stuff, some circuits and batteries. Now, these things all need plates, right? They need plate versions of the blocks that we have. Uh, you can do that with a machine, right? Uh, with a compressor machine or something, or, or even with a create uh, mechanical press if we wanted. <laughs> this scares me, looking at seeing double ingots and forge hammers and stuff. Um, but it's an option, and we, we, we can do it. We do have the iron for it. Heavy weighted press plates are just too iron. I, I say we give it a shot. Listen, I'm I'm as scared looking at that thing as you guys probably are. Uh, but, but we can definitely try it out. So, we want this much weighted heavy pressure plates, and then we want to turn the rest of our iron into a forge hammer. So here we go. That guy goes there. He looks pretty cool, I guess. I mean, he's a nice little forge. Um, he takes up the full block. We need to put a hammer in there, and then we can, I guess, hammer our stuff. <laughs> now, there are double ingots. So, okay, you do that in the forge hammer too. No tool required for that, and no tool required for the plate. But if we had a tool, we would get double the bang for our buck. I see. Um, oh, we'd get way more. You would just go straight to the to what we want. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we want. Um, to do that, we need a hammer. <laughs> now, an iron hammer will use five iron large plates, which are four iron plates each, which are obviously what we can see in here with double ingots. That's a lot of iron. We don't quite have that. You guys look cool. This guy looks, he looks chill. And then this, this is just, that is nightmare fuel. That is... Oh, this guy, yeah. Does he have different health as well? Yeah, look, it looks like this guy's way stronger. I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing a reference or something. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I'm picking up what's being put down, I think. I'm guessing that's some sort of necromancer. Raising uh, all these zombies from the dead. Sure. I believe you. Do I go and try to get him? I mean, he's just gonna keep spawning mobs. We've got a mob farm. <laughs> day, day two zombie mob farm. I'm gonna go deal with it. Before these guys break down my door, I'll get rid of this guy. He had a crazy amount of health. All right, let me just cut through the, the pack here. Yep, one second. Yep, just a second. I just need, I'm, I'm here to see your manager. <laughs> Is that Shrek? <laughs> Is this Shrek in front of us? <laughs> what am I seeing? Come on, no, don't... No, you're not allowed to hurt me. Right, give me a second, I wanna go get that, uh... I wanna go get that guy. Oh, that guy's good. That, that was the Michael Jackson zombie, I don't know if you saw that. Alright, so these this guy's spawning mobs. He spawns baby zombies. I don't know... I don't know if he's just a boss or if this is just the type of mobs we're gonna see at night, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if killing this guy's gonna get us something cool, or if it's just part of the experience. Um, we'll quickly chop him up. He's running for his life. He's summoning more things. Oh, we got, we got an egg. Oh no, we got a diamond. <laughs> we got a diamond. We didn't, 
We didn't get an egg. Sadly, he didn't drop us an egg. <laughs> I'm sorry to bring everyone's hopes up. Um, oh, I was really hyped for this this blue egg I got given. <laughs> I was like, this is it. We're gonna, we're gonna, I don't know. We're gonna hatch something. The big blue chicken. Right, well, I mean, th those guys are just, there's no point swinging at him. Sweet. We got a diamond. <laughs> That's cool. Um, oh, I think we just got some seeds as well. Nice. More blueberries. What are those? Grapes? Blueberries. Oh. 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 Cool. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> by the way, I'm sorry about the weather. Um, yeah. Alright, so... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry if I just yelled. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make some new chests because obviously what we're doing is pretty silly here. Um, and this is going to be our goods chest, meaning ores are going in here and diamonds and, and processed goodies and things that we're probably going to need or at the very least things that aren't just random junk, right? So I'll filter out all this stuff and I'll be back. Okay, nice. <laughs> Perfectly filtered. We've got all our goodies here. Um, so we obviously, we don't have access to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, hammers at the moment. We, we would need a lot more iron for that. We don't even seem to have iron. So I may have to go mining a little bit to well, get some iron, but that should be fine. Um, let's have a quick look. Iron ore. Uh, the spawn rate's here. Y15. It's a 50, a 0.5% chance. Not a 50%, but a 0.5% chance. Uh, the deep slate ore. Less of a chance further down. So we're, we'll go for the, this one at about Y15, it looks like. And I'll be back with probably some iron. Alrighty, so Y15 is here. We'll go into small tunnel mode. And I will go until I get iron um, in one of these directions. Yeah, what have we got here? Nickel. And... Oh! And we have a cave. Which, if we're being honest, has probably got exactly what we want somewhere. It's just a matter of where in this cave the iron is. Nickel. Um, uranium. It's not my... It's not my uranium. It, it does appear to be your uranium. Um, antimony. Gold! Our first bit of gold, and it's nowhere near where we were told gold would be. I mean... It probably did tell us it would be here, but, you know, we were looking at other spots. <laughs> What's this? Zinc? Oh. This block is on the spectrum. It's, like, like, it's spectrum. It's from spectrum. It's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm going to mine it. Huh? <laughs> I, I, mm -hmm. okay. All right. Did it give us loads of pants? Is that what it did? Or did we get that from a zombie? <laughs> I'm not sure. But, um, cool. Cool. We've got it. That's nice. No iron. How are we finding everything else? Oh, we got a bit of silver. I don't think I've gotten any of that yet. Um, I should be mining everything because even though we may not need it right now, when we do need it, it's just going to be nice to have it. Um, lead. I don't think we've had lead before. So we've got some of that. Um, what's this? Salt. Uh, I mean, we'll take it. I don't plan on using it. Um, lignite coal. Cool. Oh, iron. Beautiful. And it looks disgusting, which is probably why we haven't found much. Um, and that's 10 bits. Nice. And we got a little bit more. Um, I do want to cut back every time I find, like, you know, bits of iron that we look for. That looked like we just got a lot of copper. Yeah. We just, <laughs> we just mined a pretty big vein because we just got two stacks out of that. That's pretty good. I, I suppose we can, like check what we're mining before we mine it. That, that might make a little bit more sense in the grand scheme of things. That's a decent amount of iron. What's, was that iron? I feel like we got nothing from that. I, mean, I, I guess, I guess it's fine. All right, well, that iron may be enough. I, listen, I do not think it is, <laughs> but it could be. And we don't have the hunger to uh, contest whether it will be or not be. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Now, oh, that's plenty. That, too much iron. Jeez, what am I going to do with all this, <laughs> with all this iron? Um, all right, so I'll, I'll meet you guys back at the top. You know what? The, the more I think about this, the less I want to do it. Like, we're going to be... How's this going to improve our ores? So if I put iron into this hammer, but I need a hammer to do it. So it's not going to happen. Like, I don't have... And it barely... You know, it's not ore doubling or anything. Um, what does the diamond hammer cost? I mean, that's crazy too. I feel like we just go the create route. It's, it just seems like it's going to be the simpler thing to do. Um, I, I think we're going to do that. There, there's no point being, being silly about this. Let's go mechanical press. So that's going to be this guy here. 
Um, so that's what we need, right? Let, let's see how difficult it is to get it. Andesite alloy is going to be iron nuggets or zinc nuggets and andesite. We'll probably go for the um, the zinc, which is one of these. Yes, zinc. Awesome. We'll smelt that up. Uh, I may have a little bit more in here as well. Let's just clear our inventory a little bit if we can. Uh, do we have more zinc? Yep. I'll chuck that in there too, just to get it smelted up. Is that guy done making noises? Not quite. Oh, that's a that's a revenant. That's not a little zombie. That's a truly a horrific beast. And he doesn't drop anything. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Anyhow, we have zinc. Awesome. <laughs> I believe we have andesite. I'm pretty sure we picked up a little bit at least. Yeah, we've got ten bits. Nice. We're we're golden. We're good to go. Um, so what we'll do is we'll turn the zinc into nuggets, and then we'll combine those up with the andesite like so. And that will give us andesite alloys. Beautiful. Uh, from here, we're going to want to make some shafts. So that's going to be two bits of andesite alloy to make eight shafts. Next, we want to put a piece of andesite alloy onto a log. Oh, I thought you did. Maybe you don't. Am I crazy? Um, I might be crazy. We'll double check. Andesite casing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Manual item application. Oh, oh is it a strip log? Perhaps. It, it is looking like that, isn't it? Um, so we'll strip the log and then we'll do it. Oh, perfect. So now we have um, this guy, our little andesite casing. And then next on the list is a block of iron. I mean, we can do it, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> sure, block of iron coming right up. Uh, we might as well cook that on us. Oh, I already did. <laughs> I don't remember doing that, but I must have. I thought I put not iron smelt. I guess I put iron. Oh, that's awesome. That's why it didn't look like we had that much iron. I put half of it in the in the smeltery. Um, sweet. Okay. Well, we, we can do already the thing that we wanted to do. So, this is a mechanical press. Now, there's a few options here. One is we could make a hand crank and we could spin it. And this mechanical press would spin as a result. And it would mechanically press stuff. I know. Who would have thought? Um, the alternative is that I utilize some of our surroundings. Um, I'm just trying to think of the better option to put it. I may take this little area over here um, and we can use either a windmill or a water wheel to actually um, power this guy using the rotational energy. So what we'll probably do is have like a water wheel here, I think, that will go like this. We've got a bucket, so we can obviously, we can make this work. And so the water wheel is going to go right there and we'll have, well, you know, we'll do something that has it so that water flows from somewhere, maybe. Maybe it comes from the hills. And you're like, oh, where's the water coming from? Um, and that'll end up there. And so that will go into this mechanical... No, do I want it there? Yeah, well, uh, hmm. Where do I want it? <laughs> I, hmm. I think we'll place it here. And so I can place this guy down. Uh, clearly, we want him the other way around. Um, like that. And so the uh, wheel will, will attach onto the side and that will spin this guy. Um, the wheel's there, the water flows under. That should be should be perfect, should work at least. Um, so we'll grab some water. We'll slowly hop our way up here. Um, where am I picturing this coming from? <laughs> Hold on. Apparently I'm thinking that... What's it, what, what am I doing here? Does anyone even know what I'm doing? I've clearly got this designed as if this has to go lower because the wheel is, the wheel's here. Oh no, I guess, I mean, I guess that works. Sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll trust previous me. So I've got water that flows here and it, and it, it works. It's water, believe it or not. Um, we have a crafting table on us, so I don't have to run away. We want to make a water wheel, this guy here. Uh, to do that, we need a large cog wheel. That's going to be a shaft and two planks, it looks like. So let's go ahead and make some planks. It looks like we'll need some slabs for the later part, so we may as well get that ready as well. Two of these and a shaft. Oh, if my inventory catches up. Uh, it makes a large cog wheel, and then we turn that into a water wheel. Nice and easy. So we slap this here, and as you can see, it spins. <laughs> now, it's not fast, but it spins. Um, and, and I'll show you why that's important in a second. Oh, delicious. Can I plant these? Can I turn these into seeds? No. Okay. We can eat it, though. I... Yeah, that, that sounds good. <laughs> Alright, so from there, it looked like we wanted to make um, tin, right? Yeah. So we need to smelt up a lot of our tin. I mean, I'll chuck it in there and get it started. All this, all I'm realizing is that I'm honestly just better off using Create. It's, it's so strong. 
early game that it's and i feel like late game the other stuff obviously starts taking off even then i feel like crate's pretty good all around um especially for the effort it takes to put it together it's it's, it's quite cheap like we could make a um could we what does this guy need two iron plates we could make a harvester sort of we, we could try <laughs> in fact yeah i think we could if we wanted to i i, I think we'll, we'll stick i want to i want to mess around with electricity uh, electricity so we'll, we'll try to start that up now uh so the first thing we want is the cold generator it needs a battery it needs five tin plates right and we saw the way to make tin plates over there wasn't exactly a fun uh picture uh, i'm gonna chuck that in there we'll i guess hold on to this and i'll try to get rid of some of this other stuff all right but um instead of da -da -da, having a horrible time with that other thing losing a bunch of uh, our resources we can chuck this stuff under there if we can aim it properly and as you'll see in a second the metal press falls depending on how fast it's spinning and it will press the stuff <laughs> yep there it is so it's a slow process and you have what you want so it's pretty cool uh to make this run better we, we can do that so i may actually just pick this stuff up for now to try and improve here um we would obviously want the water to flow over as many parts of this as we can uh there's a few ways to do that one way involves making it look natural one way does not we'll see what happens <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it as that um what we're probably gonna do is this and then um this and then just for the sake of it looking weird i'm gonna do this because that sounds fun to have it look weird <laughs> um you guys are probably gonna be like you guys are probably throwing up at the side of whatever it is i'm creating at the moment um, so if I place water here, what does that do? That does nothing. If I place water here, nope. If I place water here, nope. Hold on. <laughs> All right. If I place water here, <laughs> there we go. We should see the water. Oh, the water just breaks it. What's huh? Okay. Um, I do need it to be the other way around though, because obviously it's not catching the right, uh, the right spots. That's very weird. Um, we'll slap it there. There we go. And so the water should be going around and it looks like it's even curving back in on itself, which is really, really good. Cause if I break this as well, it'll spin just that little bit faster as well. Assuming water flows back there, which it kind of doesn't seem to be. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, um, if I go ahead and chuck that, uh, tin back under. We should hopefully see that it's a little bit faster. What do we think? Did that feel any faster? <laughs> Maybe a little bit, the tiniest of bits. You'll, listen, you can at least see the wheels spinning faster, right? That, that's that's probably that's probably enough. Um, I'm actually going to go grab. I'll tell you what, these grapes have been very successful. Um, but I may go and grab uh, the fishing rod. And we got. Raw cod, it is not tasty at all, but I imagine this one can be smelted if I'm allowed to look at the hot bar. Yeah, and it, it becomes tasty, at least. All right, but yeah, uh, that stuff smelts it, so we're, we're good, we're, we're good. Uh, so from here, we obviously, we want the Nicolite. That's sort of the redstone of this mod pack. Oh, not mod pack, sorry, but this mod. Uh, and from there, we can make a battery. Nice, progress. <laughs> I'd love to make this generator by the end of the episode. I just don't really know if we can. Um, I'll, I'll definitely push for it, though. Plenty of copper, so that's not going to be a problem. Let's go and get some of that uh, smashed up right now. Um, how much do we need, do you think? Um, let's have a quick look. So, at least four pieces, plus an extra six pieces. So, we're going to need at least ten pieces, plus an extra four. So, we need 14 pieces, at least. Hold on, what do we need for the middle bit? Yeah, 14 pieces. We can, we can arrange that. That's... That's honestly quite easy. Boom, 14 pieces. Chuck that there. Let that start. Um, and I'll go eat my fish. <laughs> All right, so what will be next? Uh, this is easy. We've obviously, we've got that already. We're going to need the machine bl uh, block, which will need another battery. Okay, so we do need five more tin to go uh, in the process over here. That's fine. Um, let me, yeah, put that to the side. So yeah, we'll put our resources that we're working with um, over here. So five pieces need to be smashed. Okay. And that's for the machine block. We're going to need six iron plates. So let's go ahead and put those over there as well. They're going to need to be smashed. Um, 
And then for the circuit, we will need a singular gold plate. So we'll go ahead and smelt up one of those. Uh, gold. I'll just do one on the off chance that we get a way to dupe the ores later. You know what I mean? And I mean, realistically, we'll just go mine some more, some more stuff. Um, he's doing his thing. <laughs> Not much else to tell you. Uh, I suppose we can make the uh, solenoids or whatever they were. Heat coils. Converts lazuli flux into heat. Cool. There it is. <laughs> nice. We're getting there. Um, I suppose I can chuck everything else under there, I guess. It doesn't do them any faster by placing them all under there. It's just, I don't know. They're there. Uh, what we could do, because we do have two andesite alloys. Um, we can make a depot. And then this just helps with uh, having your, your resources not uh, despawning on you. Um, and it makes them a little bit more secure. So we'll go ahead and make ourselves a casing. Combine that casing with an alloy. And we get a depot. Then what you do is you place that depot underneath. And now you can place the stuff directly on there. So for example, the uh, six iron ingots that we need, I can place on there. And it'll work just as it did before, but it won't be a dropped item anymore. And the uh, the finished item will obviously transition over there. Um, so it's pretty good. Uh, is there anything else we want to do before we wrap up this <laughs> very long episode? Obviously, I, I kind of want to get this done. I think what we can do is I'll go mine a little bit more andesite. Maybe we'll rip up the rest of this pickaxe on it or something. Or maybe... Yeah, probably. I mean, it's annoying having two pickaxes on you. Uh, I'll look for andesite because I want to make some more alloys and I want to make some more gears. Uh, we do have some andesite here. There we go. 64 blocks of andesite. Ah, half and half, I guess. It just mines whatever. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's plenty. We can split this up and this up and we have some alloys. And I'll head back up and I'll show you what else we can do. Um, and now, I have no doubt that everyone watching here knows how to play with uh, Create, but Part of the fun that I have is that, I don't know, I, I enjoy, I don't know, pretending that I'm being educational at least, you know what I mean? Um, it, it is quite rewarding. Um, so I'll pick this guy up and I'll pick the uh, depot up. And so what we can do here using cogs, I haven't, how did our inventory get this horrific? Let's go ahead and make a chest over here maybe to hold more mess. <laughs> um, let's put all of the stuff that we're working on in there at the moment because I've, I've obviously got some other plans at the moment. So, what am I wanting to do here? Um, I need the anti alloys back. <laughs> I would like to make four of these. Um, so, oh yeah, you don't even use the shafts for these. Um, I want to make two large cogwheels. Yeah, we'll turn that into that. We'll make, oh, oh God, oh God, I'm struggling. Um, two large cogwheels, perfect. And then I imagine the small cogwheels are just this, right? Yep. Two small cogwheels, beautiful. Nice and cheap recipe. Um, so, obviously this thing, I mean, it looks pretty weird. I've ruined the environment. It looks gross. We can actually dig all this up um, and we can redeem it. We can bring it back. So, we pick up the, the water wheel and we'll place the water wheel back where we originally wanted it, which is here. Um, we will need it to be the other way around, but I don't really know if I can easily get that done. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll try. I'll tell you what, we'll place it here. And I'll place the large cogwheel on it. So that's how that's going to work. Um, and then what I should be able to do, fingers crossed, is maybe cheese this onto there. Yeah, awesome. That works. And so as you can see, the rivets, like if the water flows over it, it's going to catch it. And I believe that does make it go a little bit faster. Um, so, visually this looks a little bit meh, but it's fine. We can, we can sort of work on it. Um, what I can do is I can place a small cogwheel there. Um, let me show you a little bit of cogwheel magic here. So... That's not how this works. Why is that not how this works? <laughs> this needs to be one lower, does it? Okay. That's fine. We can make that happen. So you need to go there. Awesome. As you can see, it's flowing. Nice. Uh, then what we do is we break this and this becomes a large cogwheel. And as you can see, it's spinning at the exact same rate that the water wheel is. Pretty simple. Um, the next thing we're going to do is place a small cogwheel. And what you should see is it too is spinning at the exact same rate as this guy. Um, in terms of the actual shaft. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that I mean, that's, it's true. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to place a cogwheel connected to the large cogwheel. What you can see now is this cogwheel is going a lot faster than that cogwheel, right? Um, and that's because this has more teeth than this guy. <laughs> that's, that's the most basic way to explain, explain that. Um, but the trick is, right, 
the shaft is now moving fast as well, right? Because in order for this to make a full rotation, it takes a lot longer than this thing. Yeah? <laughs> am, I, am I a teacher? Am I a qualified teacher yet? Um, so as you can sort of catch on to now, we can just speed this up again and again and again to this point where it's now going... Let me maybe torch up the area a little bit. Um, where it's now going a lot faster, especially when compared to that. Like, look, look how crazy it is. And so we can slap this guy here and the machine stops. Now it stops because there's not enough uh, stress units in the system. This water wheel being sped up as fast as it is to turn this mechanical press, it can't handle it. It's not getting enough uh, rotational energy, not enough force. Uh, this can be fixed a few ways. One way is by breaking under here and having the water flow underneath the water wheel. That can sometimes work because having the water go on multiple sides um, will increase the rotational uh, capability of it. Another option is placing another cogwheel, uh, another water wheel. Now, I'll be honest, I feel like that should have worked, so I am a little bit confused. But I, I mean, maybe it makes sense. So that should go there. And that really doesn't work. Oh, you know what it could be? It could be because water is flowing in this way and it's sort of, it's not interacting as nice as I'd like it to. I think what we'll do here is cover that up to stop the water and then have the water fall down a little bit earlier so they meet in the middle. That way this water is flowing under and that's not stopping, like that's not causing an issue. Like uh, if you can maybe see what I mean. So the water is now flowing under there and that would normally spin the guy. And so then this on top spinning, well the top, that should be fine. Okay, it's clearly not fast enough, but <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe you get what I was sort of aiming for there. All right, so um, we're, we're obviously going to need to do another cog wheel, but I mean, it's fine, <laughs> I guess. All right, so um, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious how to make the thing. We've, we've done it a few times now. Boom, 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 and boom. And as you can see, that guy's spinning. This guy's not because he's, I don't know, he's still upset with me for what I've done. Um... <laughs> But it should be fixable. Um, yeah. Oh. You know what's crazy? Oh, yeah. Was, whatever that was, was... Okay. So it's good enough to spin with two of these water wheels running at the lowest setting, pretty much, with the water just at the bottom. All right. Well, I'll still set up the top. And that should... Maybe it makes it slower. There we go. Yeah. My, my water from the top is clearly, it's slowing things down. It's, it's doing not what I wanted it to do. Okay. I, I didn't realize I was not good at what I'm doing. <laughs> Hold on. I, I think we can make it work and even a little bit faster, um, by placing stuff here. I think that's good. I'm probably going to die. You know what? I do need to eat. So it's not the end of the world. Oh, there's a ravager here. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we saw that coming. Alright. Mission is successful. <laughs> we killed the thing. Um, so yeah, that stuff there should... Should allow this to work. Um, and what we may do is place this here. And we can have a little... We, we, we can have a little thing. We can have a little thing take place. So this should now flow around. And then it actually splits up over here and it flows over. And this should be faster than it was before. We can sort of test that by doing this. Yeah, I mean, that that's definitely slightly slower, <laughs> right? You ready? Yeah, oh, that, that's way faster now. All right, okay, cool. So that means this guy's also way faster, right? <laughs> Bear with me. So what do we need here? <laughs> What's the part that we're up to? Um, we do need another battery. We have one battery on us, so I need to do five more uh, pieces of tin. Let's give that a shot and see if the comparison is obvious. I mean, that's way faster already. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll try to make this coal generator uh, in this episode and then um, we'll wrap it up because <laughs> it is quite long. Uh, these episodes do do get a little long. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy that type of content. Um, da -da -da -da. Drop the gold, try to pick up that. Yep, we don't have that much space apparently. Okay, so uh, I mean, what am I, what am I building here? <laughs> I need another battery. Check, awesome, do they stack? Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to need a machine block. Beautiful. 
I will require a Mark 1 circuit. There it is. And then we have ourselves three more copper that we need. <laughs> but as you can see, that should be pretty quick. Ah, oh, and I forgot to place the depot back. We'll do that uh, when this guy's done. But yeah, nice. <laughs> so far, so good. We've uh, started on create. We've started on industrial revolution. There we go. Depot can go there. Uh, and... Da, 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 da. Mark 1... No, we already did that. <laughs> Coal generator. Now this guy, we could have him out there. Uh, but I want him inside. I want to I wanna get back to that cozy feeling of having your machines inside. What I may do as well... We, we, oh, we haven't done this for a while. What if I bring the mechanical press inside? So we have our generation over there. But then we run the cabling inside. Oh, I feel like we can. And it could look nice. We, we obviously need to make some, uh, some expansions on the building. Um, but... It's a good start. So, I mean, this guy, I imagine he uses coal, so we can probably grab a little bit out, and there he goes. Making power. Beautiful. <laughs> we can't use it for anything, but it's there. Awesome. Very nice. Sweet. So, next episode, we'll probably make the farmer, I guess. It, it honestly doesn't look that far away. We may, we may need some more gold. Yeah, we may need, like, one more piece, but um, nevertheless... It should be pretty good. So yeah, th thank you guys for watching. <laughs> thank you guys for the uh, the warm welcome on the uh, on the first episode. Uh, it, was, it was very nice to see. I will have to fight this spider. I was gonna not fight it, but I'm like, our walls sort of let them in. They oh, they are very creepy. Oh, oh God. <laughs> not as creepy as a vanilla Minecraft spider though. They they still take the cake there. All right, come on, come on, come through the special door made just for you. Can they, these guys can't get in, right? Okay, no, they're just. Absolutely horrific. Um, yeah, th thank you guys. Thank you guys. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> I, I think that's all I've got to say for this episode. I do need to uh, be a little bit proactive in my lighting up of areas or something. Um, is that good? <laughs> and then obviously outside so that we don't have mobs. That's probably a smart idea too. Do we have F7? Yeah, we actually do. I, I can see sort of uh, yeah the, the blue crosses it looks like we've got this time. Nice, we're, we're protected. Okay, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you'll enjoy this series. Um, and hopefully my shenanigans with resource packs and, and shaders and stuff isn't isn't annoying. I really do love playing around with this stuff. But I honestly, I spend just as long recording the videos as I do trying to like get a different shader to work or, or, or trying to like figure out the perfect... Um, <laughs> huh? <laughs> what am I? I, I'm, I, I'm, I think that's someone on the server, but I, I won't lie. I thought my days were numbered. It, it, they, did it come back? No, they... Oh my god. You are, you are exhausting. Yes. Don't... No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Stay down. <laughs> Is that... Oh, I thought that was another one. Um... Well, that, you see something new every day. I am, uh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, right, hold on. I'm, I'm saying every single word. <laughs> I'm, I'm collecting all the words. It is really fun just having a neighbor. You know what I mean? Just someone building over there. The risk, the reason why I didn't really do this on previous servers is if they happen to have an incredibly laggy base, you know what I mean? Then even when they're offline, I'd be sort of loading it in. You know what I mean? And, and then that's just, I mean, that's just a, a, a silly mistake. Um... But, but I, I don't believe Melissa does that. So it's actually going to be nice to have just life, you know what I mean, in the distance. But yeah. All right. Uh, this outro has gone for too long. Uh, thank you to our channel members. Uh, one of which, one of our tier three channel members is Melissa who, who lives over there. So there you go. Thank you. And uh, thank you to Andre, another tier three channel member. Uh, don't feel pressured to become a channel member or donate or any of that sort of stuff. Watching the ads, even just watching the video um, is more than enough. Um, so genuinely, thank you guys. That, thank you for, uh, for, for doing that. Um, yeah, I'm fine. You know what I mean? Chances are like you don't have the money to spare. You know what I mean? I don't have the money. I'm not donating to people. You shouldn't be donating to people. No one should be donating to people unless you've got a lot of money, I guess. You know, I don't, I, I, I mean, I don't want to say that because I guess like that's the entirety of Twitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I you know what I mean though, right? Like if, I mean, if you can, you can, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with this. This outro has probably been longer than... <laughs> the video. All right. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.